get those kind of shots that John did, he'd have to be in the eye of the hurricane. Statistically, it's the most dangerous surf break in the world. By far, more deaths have occurred at Pipeline. Shooting in the water in Hawaii, I probably have no true understanding of what they go through. That's how quick it can happen. It's tragic because you know John knew exactly what he was doing. He'd been in that position many times before. The risks he took were horrendous. They were huge. I mean, sometimes up to like 30 feet up there on jet skis, ducking under waves, getting hugged under, getting bashed against the reef. Everywhere from Tahiti to North Shore, all over, he's been attacked by sharks. With that beauty comes danger. There's a certain kind of people that don't want to settle for mediocrity, whatever it is, whether you're surfing or snowboarding or in school and you want to be on the edge and I guess you're just kind of adrenaline junkies. He wanted to capture shots and show people the beauty of the, of the ocean, of the waves, where the normal person wouldn't normally, you know, be hanging out. For John, the reward was far greater than the risk. It's like everything in life. Everything can be nice and beautiful and after boom, you can be like really dangerous. At that time, John was really the only photographer I knew that was pursuing photos out there purely on an artistic level. And in the end, it would ultimately cost him his life. <laughs>